In this video, I will give you a little bit more insight into the syllabus of EX101X. What are we going to do together? Well, we're going to work on data analysis. I guess you understood so much, but I will tell you what we will do. In the first six weeks, we will work with spreadsheets only. I will teach you all the things you need to know about spreadsheets. We will address pivot tables, array formulas, how to test your spreadsheet, VLOOKUPs, all the things you need. And some people, while I was designing this MOOC, asked me the following question. Why spreadsheets? Why are you going to spend six weeks on spreadsheets? Especially in the era of big data. Aren't you supposed to be teaching those people Hadoop clusters or R? Well, no. Spreadsheets are really relevant. One of the reasons that it's very important to teach people about spreadsheets is that they're very commonly used. 95% of all US companies still use spreadsheets for financial reporting. So if you're still doing it, you don't have to feel bad because so is everyone else. Working with spreadsheets is super common. 64% of workers use spreadsheets in their daily life. This is a sur survey from the US labor statistics uh, from 2003, so it's a little bit old, but it's still a lot of people. And a more recent survey from 2009 showed that spreadsheets are the fourth most common task that people do at their job on the computer after using internet and word processing. So it's really, really common. And what happens often is that spreadsheets are designed as a one-time solution. You think, I'm only going to use this spreadsheet for this one report. You just download the data, make a graph, and this is where it will end. And often it doesn't. You know, you have that guy at the next desk and he says, oh, that's a nice report. Can I have it as well? Sure, you're a good, co good colleague. So you email the spreadsheet to him and he changes some data and he adds a few worksheet and the spreadsheet starts leading its own life. And our research has shown that this is very common. On average, spreadsheets stay alive for five years and during their lifespan, they are used by 12 different people. So this is why it's really important to be able to design a good error-free spreadsheet because even though you think it's just for you, chances are very big that this spreadsheet has a very long lifespan. So that's the answer to the question why we're doing this course in spreadsheets. 